fire is a natural process and it has at lesser occurrence, you know, is ignited naturally through uh, lightning strikes. It doesn't is turn into wildfires frequently because we generally have rain that uh, can extinguish the fire that accompanies our, our um, uh, lightning storms. But uh, Long Island, especially, Native Americans were really the, the purveyor of fire that really utilized that and transformed the Pine Barrens. And I highlight that because it, as humans, we like to remove ourselves from the ecosystem. In this capacity with the Pine Barrens, we were very formative, even thousands of years ago. So they utilized fire to improve their home sites, to improve uh, the vegetation. So when you incinerate that, the, the response of the vegetation is to produce a lot of fruit um, and larger fruit because of more nutrients. And then it also improved their hunting grounds. So it benefited Native Americans, and they used it very frequently um, in their landscapes on Long Island. Um, where we see the greatest modification even today as far as uh, the implication of land use and the culture of fire is with European colonization. With the advent of that um, colonization, they massively clear-cut the Northeast, including Long Island, extensively, removing our hardwood forests. And that maximally expanded the pine barrens um, because the pitch pine and the scrub oak are early successional pioneer species. So they expanded the, their habitat out of the pine barrens and increased in their, in their density um, as a response to this clear cutting. So there's more habitat available for the pitch pine and the scrub oak. I think on the negative side of that, um, what occurred was because you had mass and dense pitch pine and scrub oak, the scrub oak was area to carry the fuels into the canopy of the pitch pines, and so you had massive and severe wildfires that broke out as a response to the modification of the vegetation on the landscape.